What's up boys, we're taking a look at some more NFL player props today over on prize picks for the Sunday slate. This is the first of two videos that will be posted for this NFL Sunday slate. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys leave a like on the video, subscribe, and have those post notifications on. We've been on some huge runs, by the way. Over on the Patreon, we were 11-3-1 in total for week five last week. And when it comes to the top play over on the Patreon, we are 5-0 and for Sundays. If you want more research and more picks, check out the Patreon. Link is down in the description below. There are three different options. NFL, NBA, and all sports. You guys can get my full research and all my plays for as low as $10.99, which is definitely cheap compared to some other guys out there. And you can also get NFL plus NBA for $15.99. We're always talking about different props in the comment section of the Patreon. So if you guys are interested, check out the link in the description below. We're talking about some NFL player props here. So if anyone's not on Pirates Picks, by the way, I highly recommend joining Prize Picks. There is so much value on this board. I'm telling you guys, use my code DOMG, 100% deposit match up to $100. And right now, if you guys do not know, there's a Stephen Curry half, he's at half a point right now. I mean, that's a free square, man. So all he needs is one point in his first game here against the Lakers, which Curry should be able to get it done. You guys will win a square on your entry right there. And if you guys deposit again, $60, they will match it, give you guys another $60. So you guys will have $120 total to play with. For example, if you guys use my code DOMG, link is down in the description below. And again, we were 11, three and one last week for week five. We swept week three, Thursday night football and Monday night football. We swept Thursday night football last week, I think it was. And we only had one loss this last Thursday. Day. So we've definitely been killing out on pretty much every single slate. Thursday night football, Monday night football for sure have really been our big hitters. And then especially those top plays on Sundays. And really last week, week five was a killer as well because we were 11, three and one. So again, the link in the description for that is down there below. Tons of you guys have been joining. I really do appreciate it. But now let's finally hop in. Sorry for the super long intro here. Let's hop in and talk about these player props. All right, so the first player prop I got for you guys here is going to be a reception prop here for the first game right here with the Minnesota Vikings. I like Adam Thielen over four receptions here, and there's a couple reasons for this. We'll, talk, we'll hop in and talk about some things here and why I'm liking this here, but he's a plus 100 to go over four and a half, so already tons of value on the prize picks board like I've been saying. There's tons of value, by the way. I already posted over on the Patreon. They got tons of freaking value. There's like minus 140 props to go over five and a half, yet he's at five on prize picks. Tons of value on prize picks. If you guys are not on prize picks, again, I highly recommend joining. But you guys can also get that Curry free square. But he's a plus 100 to go over four and a half receptions. He has hit this in two games this season. He has only lost this in one game, and he's pushed in the other two. I'll show you guys an example of that in a second here. But he's gotten seven plus targets in his last four games. So seven plus targets in all of his last four games here. And we just need five receptions here to go ahead and get the win. Also, Miami has allowed the eighth most completions in the NFL so far this season per game. So they've allowed the eighth most completions per game. Uh, so far this season so yeah Miami is a pretty easy matchup when it comes to receptions it looks like Thielen has been able to get it done he's getting those targets so the only loss he had this season was against Green Bay here where they really did not have to throw the ball that much honestly but uh, the LYC had seven targets in the last four games here which is great he had four receptions against Philly six against uh, the the, the uh, Detroit Lions right here the Saints he had eight and then the Chicago Bears he had four right there so seven plus targets in every single game he even had nine uh, the week before against the Saints right there so I'm loving the spot a lot here for Adam Thielen to get it done, especially if he has another seven targets. He should definitely be able to get bare minimum four receptions. And the odds are definitely really liking him at this four spot right here. Again, he's a plus 100 to go over four and a half. So the odds are great on this one. I'm really liking this prop right here is Adam Thielen over four receptions. So let's go ahead and talk about some other player props here, talk about some leans and things like that. But all the other main plays that I have are over on the Patreon. And again, I will be posting a part two later. Uh, I believe probably later tonight, honestly, for NFL. I'm going to research some more props here. Um, it might be some stuff that's already on the Patreon. We'll see. But uh, again, tons and tons of plays already over on the Patreon. And there's going to be even more that will be posted on the Patreon. But uh, something I'm interested in is actually another reception prop here. I've been liking a lot of the reception props on the board, especially because there's a ton of value with them, including this one right here. This is just a lean for me. I'm not telling you guys to play this. I'm not telling you guys to play anything. Always research your own props, um, you know, tail drawn risk, all that different stuff. But Najee Harris under 2.5 receptions is a minus 170. So I personally am not playing this because Najee has actually been killing this, to be honest. But he's also a minus 170. So, you know, that's really, really good odds at the time of this recording uh, for him to actually go under this. And he said this in three games this season. He had three last week against Buffalo, but he did have none against the Jets right here. Three against Cleveland, five against the Patriots. So, you know, it's a pretty decent look, but the under is favored here. So he's a minus 170 to go under two and a half. And it's a game where they should probably be throwing the ball against Tampa Bay. So he doesn't take a look at like the spread and all that here because uh, the uh, Tampa Bay is a minus nine and a half. So they're really expecting Pittsburgh to throw the ball here. And even with Pickett at quarterback, he had three receptions. So I don't know why that's a minus 170, but I will tell you guys there's a lot of value right there. One of my main plays, though, over on the Patreon is a minus 190. 
So one of the plays over on the Patreon is a minus 190, which is insane. So um, I'm gonna save that for the Patreon. Maybe I'll post that in my part two video. We'll see. But uh, have those post notifications on for me, by the way, over on YouTube. But uh, let's keep it going here. Let's talk about some other props. We'll talk about the uh, spread real quick for the Vikings game, though. The Vikings are favored. They're a minus three against Miami. And I don't believe they have Teddy Bridgewater player. I'm pretty sure it's Skylar Thompson playing. I'm not sure why he's questionable. I think he's ruled out, if I'm not wrong. Uh, but Minnesota, minus 165 at the line. Over under is 45 and a half. So doesn't, not anything to really, that's not really any right flags for Adam Thielen, I'd say. Uh, they are favored by three, but I don't think that's really something to really focus on there when it comes to receptions not something that we have to worry about or anything like that so there's a lot of interesting rushing attempts by the way Brees hall over 12 and a half rushing attempts is definitely interesting to me i probably would play that nine times out of ten if it wasn't such a negative game script against green bay even though green bay has been definitely playing down their to their uh, competition lately like they had just lost to the giants but uh, the spread is minus 7.5 for green bay here so matchup of two three and two teams he's on the road here going to green bay the odds are really favoring him to go over 12 and a half at the time of this recording he's coming off of 17 and 18 against pittsburgh and miami i'm just not a big fan of the game script here uh, but i am definitely interested in Brees hall over 12 and a half rushing attempts right there there's a couple other rushing attempts that are definitely up there when it comes to value. So I think Christian McCaffrey is favored to go over 14 and a half, if I'm not wrong. Oh, definitely Michael Carter. Another Jet guy. Another Jet player here is definitely favored to go over seven and a half rushing attempts. I think it's something crazy. It might be like a minus 140 to go over seven and a half rushing attempts, if I'm not wrong. So that's definitely um favored definitely looking at these more on your own definitely double check these but i'm almost positive he was like a minus 140 or something like that last night when it came to seven and a half rushing attempts but again he's got a negative game script against green bay here and especially when you got both of these guys that i like on the over here 12 and a half 7.5 it's like I, I feel like not both of these guys are gonna hit their prop right here so I don't know, that's just kind of how I'm thinking here with these uh, props right here. Uh, but that's pretty much it for rushing attempts, I think, that I like. Uh, we talk about receiving yards, I guess, too. Um, by the way, I like Adam Thielen receiving yards, too. If I like receptions, I also like receiving yards. So if you're at some site that doesn't offer um, Adam Thielen for receptions, I will say I do like rece uh, receiving yards as well. I always do for uh, receptions. I really just like a player. If I like the receptions, I also like their yards. Uh, it's kind of, it's one way though. So I, if I like a re player's receiving yards, I typically don't like the receptions as much. So, but when I play a reception prop, I always like the yards as well. But I'm not telling you guys to play that, but I'm just, you know, letting you guys know. Uh, interceptions here. Matt Ryan is interesting, although it is against Jacksonville. Uh, he's thrown the pick in four out of five games this year. Jacksonville has gotten picks in, I believe, three out of the five games against opposing quarterbacks. So Matt, Matty Ice right there is a little bit interesting. Uh, I think he's like a minus 120. Nothing I'm playing, but uh, still a little bit interesting. Evan McPherson on the board. Yeah, Evan McPherson's on the board at one and a half field goals made. He only had one against Baltimore, but in the other games, he's hit in the last four. So Miami, the Jets, the Cowboys, the Steelers, he's had two plus. Uh, and now he faces New Orleans, who are actually allowing a lot of, you know, kicks to the uh, opposing kicker. So I'm definitely liking Evan McPherson over one and a half field goals made. I don't think the odds are anything crazy like that. Not personally something I'm playing at the moment, although that definitely could change. But those are just a couple of props that I'm liking here uh, for this prize pick slate uh, for, you know, 10-16, October 16th here uh, for NFL player props. If you guys are interested, the Patreon link is down in the description below. You guys, you guys, there are three different tiers here, NFL, NBA, and all sports that you guys can join. Regular season only for NFL and NBA, I will say. But uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, man. So thank you guys for watching this video. Join the Patreon. Join Prize Picks if you guys want. And that'll do it, man. Subscribe. Have those post notifications on so you guys do not miss part two of this video dropping later tonight. Peace out, boys.